Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is ASP.NET Core ReactJS Redux tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to get a input text box value when a button click. Now let's check the final output. Enter the value is Jack when I click. So here we got the enter text is Jack. If we enter Charan, so here we go, channel. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a ASP.NET Core ReactJS Redux application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one application, Open Solution Explorer, and this is our application. And client and this client app folder contains a source folder which contains a components folder. Now in this components folder we'll create we'll add one new component. I click the folder name add new item. The item I'm selecting JavaScript. Let's add text box value. Text box value is a component name, and here we got our component. First, let's import React class from React library. After that, I'm defining a class called textbox value extends component. After that, this class contains a render method. Inside the render method, I'm adding the return. And this return contains a root element which is a div tag. Inside this div tag, I'm adding a simple center tag to display the elements in the center. Here I'm adding one uh, input element, input type is equals to text. Let's close this element. After that, I'm adding one button element button type is equals to submit and button name is uh, click let's close the button tab after that we need to export default text box value my component name now before adding the functionality to get the text box value when a button click, let's check the output how it looks in this component. Open Solution Explorer. Let's configure our component in index.txt file. By default, the index.txt file contains the app component. But here I'm adding my component name is text box, text box value. Once I enter this component, notice here the component is important in the header section. Now let's set the output. And here we got the output of our component which contains right now the text box and one button control. Now my aim is when a user enter any text value when I click the button control, I want to display this entered value. So I can switch over to the coding part, go to text box value. Let's create, here I am adding one constructor here. Constructor contains a super method. Let's add the props here and here also props. Now this dot state is equals to data. Now I want to get this data, the text change event, text change event. In this event, this dot set state is a method. The data, this one, e dot target dot value. Now let's add this event 
here in the text box element on change event is equals to this dot my even name dot bind this after that this dot state dot data this property I'm adding here now let's check the new output let's save this file I'm reloading the browser now notice here when I enter see the channel whatever I enter the values here display here now the next function I'll do when a user clicks the button control, I want to get the text box value. So here I'm adding one more uh, get button. Get button. This is an event. Inside this event, I'm adding one simple alert message. Um, alert message. Entered text is. plus this dot state dot data instead of displaying here I want to display in the alert box alert message uh, this one we don't require here. color backwards and e dot prevent default Now on, on button click, so on click event is equals to this dot get button dot bind this. Need to add the curly brackets. That's it. Now let's check the final output. I'm reloading the browser. Now let's check the final output. Enter the value is Jack when I click. So here we got the enter text is Jack. If we enter Charan, so here we got Charan. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to get a the text box value on Quick Event in ASP.NET Core React JS Redux application. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.